Hello everyone, an exciting news Raspberry Pi 5 is coming. According to official reports, with the same size, the performance of Raspberry Pi 5 is 2-3 to three times higher than Raspberry Pi 4B. Let's take a look at the detailed parameters of Raspberry Pi 5. The main chip is Broadcom BCM2712, which is a new 16 nanometers processor upgraded from the 28 nanometers BCM2711 of Raspberry Pi 4B. It has many architectural enhancements. The new SoC possess a quad-core ARMA 76 CPU with 2.4 GHz operating frequency, at least twice as fast as Pi 4. It also have a new video core Vikpu that can decode up to 4K and H.265 video at 60Hz per second and drive two 4K displays at 60 Hz in order for the system to provide sufficient memory bandwidth. Raspberry Pi 5 also uses a 32-bit LPDDR4X SDRAM subsystem with an operating frequency of 4,267 metric tons per second, about RP1 chip. It is the I.O. controller of Raspberry Pi 5, be used to connect the SoC and other parts of the circuit. It is self-developed and designed by the Raspberry Pi team, mainly used to control and manage USB port, gigabit Ethernet controller, camera and display interfaces, analog video output and 40-pin GPIO. So for Raspberry Pi 5 main fast digital functions, SD card interface and the fastest interfaces SDRAM, HDMI and PCI Express are provided by the Broadcom BCM2712. All other I.O. functions are offloaded to the independent RP1 I.O. controller. The RP1 chip is manufactured using a cheaper production process and connects to the SoC via PCI Express which reduces costs. The PMIC power management chip has a built-in real-time clock. In addition, the power consumption can be measured, and all voltages can be read back using the command mic underscore read underscore ADC. It used Type-C power supply to provide up to 20A for higher performance CPU and more peripherals. Raspberry Pi 5 adds a RTC clock battery interface and a new URT interface. We can be directly plugged into the UART interface for serial control which is more convenient than Raspberry Pi 4B. Display interface has become a PCIe 2.0 interface, which can be used to connect solid-state drives. For Raspberry Pi 4, this is a huge upgrade. However, due to the size and angle design, it is best to use a soft cable and expansion board to support and connect the solid-state drive. The original display interface becomes a dual-purpose camera-slash-disc interface and new RP1 chip can control either port for use with a camera or display. If desired, two cameras or two display can be installed simultaneously. Camera interface has been changed from the 15 pins to 22 pins, which is the same as Pi Zero. There is a newly upgraded memory resistor, which can be used to check RAM. There are four options, 1G, 2G, 4G, and 8G. Although the official version has only released the 4G and 8G versions, maybe 1G and 2G versions will be released in the future. Raspberry Pi 5 has added a power button next to the LED. With this button, you can turn on and off the device without plugging or unplugging the data cable. The micro SD card slot is still in its original position, but the read speed is twice that of the Pi 4. The PO interface has changed its position, so the previous PoE hat module cannot be used. The audio jack has disappeared. Users can use HDMI monitors with built-in speakers, Bluetooth speakers, or USB audio. The USB interface layout is also different from the Raspberry Pi 4B with two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports. USB 3.0 supports 5 gigabits per second synchronous operation. Raspberry Pi 5 add a cool fan interface, which can be used with an active radiator. Since the performance and power consumption of Raspberry Pi 5 have been improved, a more efficient radiator needs to be used. Next, we will check data about heat dissipation test of Raspberry Pi 5 without fan and heat sink. After about 30 seconds, the Raspberry Pi 5 will frequency reduction due to heat and internal temperature up to 85 degrees Celsius with heat sink. After 5 minutes, the Raspberry Pi 5 will frequency reduction due to heat and the internal temperature up to 85 degrees Celsius with fan and no heat sink. The temperature will not exceed 75 degrees Celsius with the fan and heat sink. The temperature drops to about 70 degrees Celsius if an active radiator is installed. The temperature will not exceed 60 degrees Celsius, and there will be no frequency reduction. Therefore, if you want to use the full performance of Raspberry Pi 5, 
It is recommended that you use an active radiator. The official recommendation is to use a 5V5A adapter up to 27W. Otherwise you may see a current protection warning at startup. You can also use the 5V3A adapter of Raspberry Pi 4B to run Pi 5 in low power mode. But if you want to take advantage of the full performance of Raspberry Pi 5, it is best to choose a 5V5A adapter. Actual performance testing. Raspberry Pi 5 is at least twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi 4 in all aspects. We check these detailed performance data. At the same test conditions, the Raspberry Pi 5 CPU is increased by 2 to 3 times. The memory speed is increased by 2 to 4 times. The Wi-Fi and microSD reading speeds are increased by twice. And the energy efficiency is increased by 50%. Overall, the Raspberry Pi 5 brings many upgrades, including a faster CPU, more powerful GPU, faster memory, faster Wi-Fi and microSD speeds. At the same time, a more powerful power adapter needs to be used, and the audio output interface is cancelled. The layout of the USB, network port, and PoE power supply interface is different from that of Raspberry Pi 4B. Therefore, you need to purchase the above-related accessories for Raspberry Pi 5.